Had you or I been a child in 1948, we might have noticed this ad for a free back-to-school adding machine. From the ad itself, it's kind of hard to know exactly what you were getting, but that Craig candle looks promising. And if you were starting to doubt that one, look at this one. A real adding machine, it says. So I don't really know how I would have felt had I gone to Sears and gotten this. Of course, calling it an adding machine is wrong. The back to school adding machine is just two rotating pieces of papers called volvels. They don't even interact with each other. They're not machines and they're very old. The first ones dealt with astronomy. Here's one from the 16th century. Here's one that tells you when your baby's due from your last menstrual cycle. Here's one with state facts. Here's one from YouTube. Here's one about temples dotting the earth. And here's mine from Sears. It has two wheels that will add up to 500. It seems foolish to explain how it works, so I'll do it anyway. The right wheel controls the ones place. As you spin that around, you'll see that that flashing key turns red. And when that happens, it's time for a carry. So then you advance the left one, the left wheel one spot, which will give you a, a one in the tens. As you can see, the, the paper itself is a little bit flimsy and it's having trouble getting through there. That's why you're only supposed to rotate it one way. So that's it. That little flashing key reminds me a lot of the uh, Atto Master Jr., which also had a little flashing spot. Although with the Atto Master Jr., you needed a stylus to use it. And the back to school adding machine could be used with your fingers. Plus, the Sears back to school adding machine had two spinny discs. <laughs> I bet they never thought of that over at Atto Master Jr. I guess that's why the back to school adding machine was patent pending. Of course, the Atto Master Jr. was also patent pending. I don't know why. The back of the Sears back to school adding machine says that it was an old American custom. First to Sears, then to school. And I can tell you, in my family, that was true. We used to go to this very Sears in Alhambra. Although I haven't been in a Sears in years. I wonder if these two gals knew in 1993 that they would be the very last models to ever grace the cover of a Sears catalog. Maybe if Sears had given out more free adding machines, the old American custom would have lived on. I wonder if they ever got their patent. Thanks for watching.